what's up everybody welcome to yet another one last question last question on mess paper one november 2020 all right okay it was a probability question and then now let's have a look at it it's divided into two questions i think 7.1 and 7.2 all right great stuff so now let's have a look at this one it says that um, uh, for any two events uh, this is event a and b you are given the probabilities here. It's always nice when they give us the probability. Eh? So we've got the probability of A, the probability of B, and then we have got the probability of not getting A or B. Okay. Great stuff. So let's come here. 7.11, 7.1.1. It says that calculate the probability of A or B. Okay. When they're looking for this one, probability of A or B. Okay. This is a complementary, guys. This is a complementary. Therefore, it's just going to be 1 minus the probability of not getting A or B. Okay. I know some teachers would say if we if you add the probability of, let me say for an example, if you say the probability of A plus the probability of not getting A, it should be equal to 1. So this is basically what I just did here, but we took the other one to the other side. All right. Minus 1. 1 minus the probability of not getting A or B. So this will therefore give us 0 0.9. Three marks, guys. Two marks. One for the formula, one for that. Okay. 7.1.2. It says, okay, are the two events mutually exclusive? Are the two events mutually exclusive? This is which were events, A and B. Okay. So for the events to be mutually exclusive, we need to this formula here need to be satisfied probability of a and probability of b should be equal to should be equal to probability of a or b okay so let's check here probability of a 0 0.25 plus probability of b 0 0.89 should be equal to the probability of a or b okay great stuff so now if you say here, if you say here, guys, let's go to our calculators and check 0. Point. Let's go to, to our calculators and check this one first, guys. Let me just double check 0. 0.25 plus 0. 0.89. Okay, this side, guys, is giving me 1.14. Therefore, they are not equal, guys. So if they are not equal, no. You can say no, not mutually exclusive. They are therefore not mutually exclusive. All right. So this formula is not satisfied. So therefore, they are not mutually exclusive. All right. Okay. 7.1.3. 7.1.3 said calculate the probability of A and B. So probability, if you check in our formula there, probability of getting A and B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B, B rather, minus the probability of A or B. Okay, we already have a probability of A is given to us 0 0.25 plus the probability of B, which is 0 0.89, minus the probability of A or B, which is what? Which is what we just calculated there is 0 0.95. Great stuff, guys. And then if you punch this in our calculator, we should be able to get to an answer of 0 0.19. If you don't get 0 0.19, we are a bit confused. How did we get here? Please send me a shout out. Leave a comment. And then I will assist you. Okay, what is the probability of event B only? 7.1.4. What is the probability of B only? Okay, so now, in order for us to get the probability of B only, because we already know that um, this, uh, uh, these, they are not uh, mutually exclusive, so therefore... We just need to say probability of B is equal to, equal to the probability of B minus the probability minus the intersection, rather. Okay. 
So now we just need to minus that one, the probability of B together with A. We need to remove the probability of A and B there. Therefore, this will give us 0 0.6 as the probability of B only. Okay. And that's how you would deal with question like this one of probability. This was a uh, November 2022, question 7, 7.1. Now let's move to 7.2. 7.2, it says that it's a very nice question, Venn diagram. Please, guys, don't forget that there's also three diagrams as well, okay? So you might want to go back and practice those ones as well. So it says uh, in a small town, 1,500 1, people, there are two main banks, is the Ed the ad savings and the multiplier bank most of the people in the town in the town bank with one or both of this bank okay 600 was fairly fairly fair, fair question straightforward did they give us enough information here 600 people bank with ad bank and then 950 bank with multiplier bank great stuff and then we have got 225 in the town do not use either of the banks all right so first question 7.2.1 draw the venn diagram to illustrate the information we knew they were going to ask us that question okay so now let's come here and say a venn diagram is given by a box try my best to draw a very big box here so that what i'm writing is visible to you guys therefore i'm gonna have one circle for the ad bank and then the other one for the multiplier so this is the multiplier bank this one is the ad bank okay so now what do we have we've got people that are doing banking with either of the banks so we're going to put them outside total number of people is 1500 so now okay so now we need First thing first, when you deal with the Venn diagram, guys, always try to find out the intersection. We need the total number of people that are banking with both banks. Okay. So now we say, I'm just going to come here and say, simply try to write it down here. Well, what does the question say? 600 are banking with Ed Bank. We've got 600 plus banking with Ed Bank. And then we've got 950 they are banking with multiplier therefore we've got plus the ones that are banking nothing eh? so now minus the total number of the people in the bank so this one should give us the number of people that are banking with both banks remember you've got the ones that are doing ad bank only the one that are doing uh no you don't have only eh? they just said these people are banking with ad savings bank on bank okay they didn't say only if they said only is a different story okay guys language is very important when it comes to probability and statistics okay so let's just stick to that okay they just said 600 so out of this out of this 600 people here maybe some of them they are banking uh, with ad bank and also with one but they didn't say that but we're about to find out okay so now we're going to say 600 with ad bank and then uh, 950 with multiply then minus the total number of people in the town therefore this gives us 285 which is the number of people that are banking with both banks so this is this one but out of these okay 600 so they said 600 are doing ad bank but we need to minus the intersection so 600 600 minus 285 to get the ones that are doing that are banking with ad savings only okay so now here we have got 950 minus the ones that are banking with both banks makes sense eh Think it does therefore when we add our total year it should be able to give us a 1.5 okay so here is giving to give us 315 and therefore 950 minus 285 is giving us 600 and uh, 6 
six six fifty six six five all right great stuff and that's how you would deal with your venn diagram guys i think i've done a couple of videos on probability i think i'm gonna do more of those uh, uh, as time goes on all right okay now so now let's come to 7.2.2 .2. okay what is the probability that a person from the town uses both banks so the probability is equal to is going to be equal to the person is using both banks okay the person is using both banks so it's going to be given by the intersection which is 285 divided by the total okay 1500 this is going to give us 19 over 100 okay and that's the number the probability of the people using both banks okay 7.2.3 what is the probability that a person from the town does not use multiply so this person can does not use multiplier at all okay so now there's many ways you can do this guys you can say uh, this is the number of is this number here of the people they're saying this will they don't use multiply at all it's going to be this number which is add only plus the ones that are not using any banks okay it's going to be the person does not does not use multiplier okay so this person is not using this bank <coughs> not okay so it's going to be the ones that are using add savings only plus the ones that are using nothing at all divided by the total number of the people in town so this one is going to give us let me see if i can just add here yeah it's going to give us five five zero all over 150 which is going to be equal to 11 over 30 11 over 30 11 over 30 and that's how you would deal with a question of concerning venn diagram and uh, probability i am gustin mapala make sure that i see you on the next upload where we'll be doing question 7 november 2021